So by selecting the Workflow Manager Construction Ticketing application, which leverages Network Manager design features and assets, we'll come in and look at the map view. And we see at the bottom uh, that we didn't see a Network Manager. We see a number of buttons for Ticket Manager Assigned Work and Admin that we'll be having a look at. First thing we'll do is we'll search for a design that we'd like to produce a construction project with. We'll do a small one for this demonstration. And we see we have a network manager designed here. Maybe a little difficult to see the orange highlights underneath for the planned assets. But when we open this design up, we can start seeing what our designer engineer lo or design engineer notes look like that we're put in with our markup tools and we can start seeing all of the asset information in Network Manager for this area that we plan to construct. Now this can be customized or configured to automatically generate these construction projects on a state change for Network Manager design but in our uh, demonstration instance we only have this being done manually currently. So we can see a number of different layers here. Uh, layers can be added or turned off and on. Uh, we have the Workflow Manager Ticket layer, which allow you to filter and sort tickets by different ticket types and statuses and urgencies. We can select any of the Network Manager features and we can see the information. We can run reports. And this is all available for users who are working individual construction tickets assigned to them or survey tickets assigned to them or operations tickets assigned to them. Well, they would have read access to all of the network manager asset information where they could run reports, do fiber tracing, and this would all work uh, in the field on a mobile device. So we can turn off the design area boundary, we can turn off our ticket manager layers, so all of the layers are uh, available to be added and turned off and on. So by selecting the design and not opening it in this case, we could have it open, uh, but in this case the design can be closed and we can pick our project type which is configurable so you can have many different project types that you'd like to create. And we could say that the project group that this these tickets will be assigned to will be individuals that exist in our, pro in our construction organization or our contractor construction organization. And what this is doing is it's reading all of the feature information that's inside of this Network Manager design and it's allowing me to uncheck certain features that I don't need to actually have construction tickets created for at this time like our splitters and our patch devices which might be installed and, and done during activations. <laughs> so what we've done now is we refreshed our screen. These tickets have been generated, a construction project has been created and the green linear objects you see there are linear tickets and the blue circles indicate where point features like pedestals and splice closures and, and other equipment had tickets created for them. And it is configurable as to the geometry types that get used for your tickets when they're created. So we can go over here now to the Ticket Manager and we can look at this new project that's been created and see all of the tickets that have been created for this project. We can select a single ticket here and review. Pick an individual to assign it to or a group to assign it to and the status and so on. But in this case what we want to do is I'm going to take all of my structure tickets which in this case mean all of our underground utility boxes and our cabinet and I will assign them out to myself um, so that it's just much easier to navigate to these tickets when they're created since I'm currently logged in as me. And we've just bulk updated all of our structure tickets. Now in the event that you have a contractor organization that's doing this, you can apply all of these tickets to a particular crew chief who can then reassign the individual tickets to members of his crew who plan to do the actual work on the individual ticket level. But in this case now we can come up and look and we can see that we have our assigned status to those tickets. We can add manual new tickets to this. So if we have any kind of additional tickets that need to be added to this for any kind of a permit or uh, let's say some kind of a PPE check or some safety related ticket that needs to be satisfied, we can also add them to the project. And if we navigate, navigate over to the assigned work tab, what we see are the list of tickets that have now been assigned to me. 
including any tickets that I've previously completed. We can navigate to them on the map UI by selecting them. And this assigned work tab and map would be the two buttons that your, your average uh, construction user would have available to them. They'd have the ability to open designs, view the map, navigate to the specific asset associated with the ticket. In this case, it's an underground utility box that contains an MST. You can navigate and report and see all the property information there. You can also turn on a red line layer or markup layer and see the design engineer notes. And we can also get turn by turn directions now. So um, based on where you're located on your mobile device, uh, the default here is Google, but this can be configured to use other turn by turns.